Today we're going to go through how you can fetch YouTube video transcripts in Make.com. And before we get into how we do this, let's talk about what you might use this for. So YouTube video transcripts are a wealth of information that you can use to create blog posts, social media posts, and a whole range of content. Traditionally in Make.com, it's very hard to get a YouTube transcript, but I want to show you how to do it super easily. So what we'll be using today is Dumpling AI. And what Dumpling AI is, is a collection of no code API functions that you can use in make.com. So it includes tools like fetching YouTube transcripts, scraping websites, screenshotting websites, searching Google, searching maps, searching news, converting PDFs, all that sort of stuff, right? If you haven't set up make.com yet, when you drag in your first make.com module, I drag you in get YouTube transcript, you will need to set up your first connection. So if you press add here, it will prompt you for an API key. Once you've signed up for make.com, you'll be taken to this page and you can generate your own API key, which you can then copy and paste into make.com. I've already got it set up, so I'm not going to set it up again, but that setup process is super simple. Just follow the instructions in make.com and in Dumpling AI. Cool. So let's see what it looks like to get a YouTube video transcript. For that, let's first find a YouTube video that we're interested in. So I'm just going to quickly Google something. Let's see. Chat GPT prompts YouTube. Great. And we've got a nice little video here, which I will just open. Be over myself. And then if I copy this URL here and come back into wave.com and press enter it into the YouTube video URL input, and I just press OK here. And if I run this, we should be able to fetch a transcript for that YouTube video. I look here now in the transcript, we've got the entire transcript, the YouTube video. So what I often do with this is I run this on my own videos. So then I can turn my YouTube video into a blog post, into social media posts for LinkedIn, Twitter, X, whatever it is, but lots of different things you can do. Now, this is just me running this module on a single URL. If you're doing a single YouTube video, you don't actually need to do it in make.com. If you're doing it in make.com, chances are you have a list of the two videos that you want to do, or you want to do this automatically on a scheduled basis. So in that case, what you might have your automation look like is you might have, let's say, Google Sheets, where you have a list of YouTube videos. So something like search rows, and that might trigger, and you would feed that into Dumpling AI. And usually what people will have will be, let's say, turn this into a blog post, and you might use a chat GPT create a completion module, and then update the Google Sheet again, just to save the generated blog post back into the Google Sheet. Or maybe you just want to publish it directly to WordPress or something like that, right? I created a post in WordPress. So workflows like this are super common in the Dumpling AI user base. If you're interested in learning more about this, there are a number of different tutorials on the Dumpling AI website. So if you come to Dumpling AI and click into the blog, we have lots and lots of different tutorials that you can follow to learn more about AI automation and more specifically around how you can use the um, YouTube transcript to create content. Now, if you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. But with that, I'll see you in our next video.